Tarantino, the Guitar Boss. Welcome back to another lesson today. We're going to be breaking down more sick riffs from the theory song, The Inevitable End. Make sure you're warmed up and pay attention. Welcome back to another lesson. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Jay Tarantino. I am the guitarist and founder of the instrumental metal band Ethereus. I'm also the touring guitarist for Angel Vivaldi. So in today's lesson, we're going to break down some more riffs from the Ethereus song, The Inevitable End. This is a continuation of last lesson. So I'm going to play along to the track so you get the context of how the riffs sound in the song. So here we go. So that first riff, that first Y stretch riff, it goes like this. We went over that in the previous lesson, so if you'd like to check that riff out, please check out the previous lesson. We got tabs, we got the backing track, so you can see a full breakdown of how I play that riff. So the next riff, which is the, the quote unquote sort of chorus of the song, uh, the riff features a lot of pull-offs, a lot of hammer-ons, and some open B string notes thrown in in between. So that next riff goes like this. <laughs> Again, first two notes is the low open B string palm muted, playing with a downstroke. So, and we're gonna do seven five pull off 
on the E string and we're going to do 9-5 pull off on the A string. And in between we're hitting the low open B string. So again, so again it's 7-5 on the E string, 9-5 on the A string. Then we're doing, we got this little riff here. So it's 4-5-4, four, 4-5-4 five, four. Four, five, four on the A string and then 7-5, I'm sorry, 4-5-4 four, four, and then 5-7 on the E. So hammer on, pull off, hammer on, and then 5-7 on the, on the E string. Then the next round of the riff is similar, we change a couple of the notes. So instead of doing 9-5 on the A string, we're doing 7-5, so we're doing that same pattern again, but we're moving it over one string. So we're going to start on the D string and the A string. So again, same notes. So 4-5-4 four, four, and then 5-7. So again, the riff is... Then the tail, the end of the riff is... So we're 16th note, 16 notes on the B, on the 7th fret on the E string. So we're going to do the B and then we're going to hit the octave. So we're going to hit the 9th fret on the D string and then we're going to hit 9 and 10 on the A string. Then we're going to move down one step, two frets. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to play A this time again, 16th notes. We're going to hit the octave, then we're going to slide up to the 7th fret on the D string. So again, so again, the whole riff slow is. So with this riff, there's nothing real crazy going on. I guess the main thing you want to really focus on is just getting the pull-offs. And you got a little bit of a stretch there when you're going like this. I would say that's probably a little bit of a challenge. Just make sure you, you got the notes right. Make sure all the notes are accounted for, that you're not skipping notes. And really just practice it slow. So again, that riff slow is... So right here, those last two notes I'm picking. So I'm doing hammer on, pull up, hammer on, and then down, up. That's each time. So even on when it moves over to the next set of strings, same thing. Hammer on, pull up, hammer on, and then and then down, up with the picking. So again. For the 16th notes, just focus on where you're going to position your right hand. I tend to hold my pick when I'm muting, when I'm doing those fast 16th note muted runs. I tend to pick a little more, hold the, the end of my hand here, a little bit closer to the bridge. Get a little more of a tighter percussive sound. You can experiment. You, if you move up a little bit, you kind of choke the sound, choke the notes a little bit. So. You also get a little more harmonics coming out, so it doesn't sound as good, I think. So again... So the next riff is just a series of just open power chords, and if you listen to the track carefully, the lead guitar is actually playing a variation of the previous riff, so this riff. The lead guitar is playing that, and while the lead guitar is playing that, the guitar, the rhythm guitar is doing this. Just 
keeps repeating a couple more times. So, real simple, the chords are just B5, F sharp 5, A5, E5, where you can play open. And then again, same progression, we just change the last chord. So, E, F sharp, A, E, that's the first time. And then we got E, F sharp, A, D, the second time. And then that just keeps repeating. Thank you all very much for watching today's video. This is just a quick sample of the full lesson, which you can check out on my Patreon, patreon.com slash jtarantino. The link is in the description box below. I got a full archive of lessons featuring tabs, full video breakdowns, backing tracks, name your price, whatever you'd like to pay, $1, $5, $20, $100, $100, whatever you want to pay, you get access to a full archive of lessons. Please check out my band Ethereus, from which all of these lessons are derived from. You can check us out at ethereusband.com. Again, the link is in the description box below. My website, jtarantino.com. Instagram, at Guitar Balls. Instagram, at Ethereus. Once again, thank you very much for watching today's video. And I'll see you in the next one.